okay so let us continue so we saw so uh, uh, earlier the insertion process right okay so now let us see how to delete a node from a binary search tree now unlike insertion which is relatively straightforward in a deletion is kind of little involved it depends on uh, several scenarios so let us so these are the possible scenarios i have listed here so let us see one at it one by one so we'll start with scenario one which is the simplest scenario so again we want to delete a node from a binary search tree so let us say we want to delete a leaf node so this is the given binary search tree and let us say we want to delete this 34 so if the data that you want to delete is a leaf node the rule is very simple so for each scenario i have listed the rule in the previous slide so we are going to apply that rule so the data to delete is a leaf node then the rule is just delete the node from the binary search tree so just remove that node from the binary search tree so this is now the new binary search tree now why we can we, we could just remove the uh, leaf node because it's a leaf node removing it is not going to uh, 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 no, change anything with its left sub to your right sub because they don't exist it's a leaf node so just remove the leaf node that's the rule we want to delete a leaf node okay all right so let us now look at the second scenario we want to delete a semi internal node which is what an internal node with just one child node so let us say we want to delete this 9 in this binary search tree so this is a semi internal node because it has um, only a right child no left child so the rule to de delete a semi internal node is this replace the node to be deleted which is node 9 that's the node to be deleted with the child node and its subtree if any exist so what you're going to do is replace this node with its child node and a subtree so this is the child node 12 and its subtree with 11 and 13 so just kind of replace this 9 with 12 the child node and so basically it carries its subtree so when you replace with 12 it carries its subtree so 12 along with 11 and 13 come here so 12 is now instead of 9 here and then its child nodes 11 and 13 so that's the rule so when you want to delete a semi internal node replace the node to be deleted with its child node. it's going to have only one child node because it's a semi internal node so replace that 9 with its child node 12 along with everything to its in its subtree so 11 and 13 or the nodes in its subtree okay so that is the second scenario uh, third scenario is you want to delete like what is called a pure internal node which means it has both the child nodes okay all right so this scenario we could look at uh, there are two possibilities so i'll call it as sub scenarios or scenarios 3.1 and 3.2 so in order to delete a pure internal node say like you want to delete this 21 which is the root it's a pure internal node because it has both a left child and right child uh, the rule is this you have to find uh, the in order successor for that internal node that you want to delete okay so you do a kind of in order traversal of this binary search tree and you will do what will happen so it will be like what you go go start from the root but don't print the root go everything to the right uh, sorry to the left so there's no left child so then start with 9 and then 12 and then 21 and then this 21 and after this 21 we want to go to the right subtree but you don't print the root go all the way to the left which is 23 so 23 is the in order successor for 21 okay so the sub scenarios depending on depends on what is that in order successor so in this uh, scenario the in order successor is a leaf node so this 23 is a leaf node and 21 is the data we want to, this is the node we want to delete so when you want to delete a pure internal node that means it has two child nodes do an in order traversal and find out what is the nature of the in order successor in this case the in order successor is a leaf node then the rule is this simply copy the value of the in order successor which is 23 
to the node to be deleted and delete the in order successor. So it means replace 21, the data here of this node with 23. So copy the value of the in order successor 23 to the node to be deleted. So instead of 21, write 23 and just delete the in order successor from the tree. So remove this leaf node from the tree. Again, as we saw earlier, removing leaf node is not going to change anything in a binary search tree. So this is how you deal uh, when you have an internal node whose in order, a, a pure internal node whose in order successor is a leaf node. Okay. So I have another example. So again, we have an internal node. Say we want to delete the 78. So do an in order traversal. So you do start with uh, go all the way to left of nine. Cannot print anything so go to 9 12 21 21 then you go all the way 23 23 23 34 then after 34 we have 78 and then 81 so the in order successor for 78 is 81 and again 81 is a leaf node right so all you do is replace the data of that node to be deleted with the data of the in order successor so replace 78 with 81 and just remove that uh, in order successor which is a leaf node so 81 is that node is no longer there and you can always cross check this is going to be a binary search tree because 81 is greater than or equal to everything to its left subtree or just its left child okay all right so let, let us look at the last sub scenario which is kind of little involved but we'll go through uh, step by step so now we want to delete a pure internal node okay that's overall scenario three so do an in order traversal for that node that you want to delete so in this example you want to delete say 23 which is a pure internal node which is here at level two and um, by the way I, I think everyone knows what i mean by level right so level is the distance from the root node so the root node is at level zero it's children at level one so this is level two why I say that? Because there are few 23s here, so we want to delete the node uh, with data 23 at level 2. So this is the 23 that we want to delete. Alright, so this is a pure internal node because it has both child nodes. So the rule is first do an in order traversal of that binary search tree. So when you do an in order traversal of this binary search tree, uh, what is the node following this 23? What is the in order successor for this 23? So that's what we have to find out first. So we are like what again go all the way to the left. So 9, 12, 21, 21, then 78. We cannot go. So go all the way to the left. 23 followed by 23 followed by this 23. Then after 23, we go to this subtree, right? So we go to this subtree, 34 is the root of that subtree, we cannot list that first, go to its left subtree which is this. Now this is the root, we have to go to the left, if anything exists, there is nothing to the left of 31. So the node next to 23 to be listed in the in order traversal is 31. Right? So that's what you have to find uh, rightly. So if you do a mistake there, then everything is going to get wrong. So you have to rightly find the in order successor for the internal node you want to delete. So in this case, for the in order successor for 23, this is 31. All right. So now, what is the nature of that in order successor? The in order successor is not a leaf node because the previous sub scenario we handled was the in order successor was a leaf node. So in that case, we just remove, uh, replace the data of the node we want to delete with the data of the in order successor and just remove the in order successor to the leaf node. But here we cannot do that like that because the in order successor is not a leaf node. That means it should be an internal node. Now, there is also an interesting property. We are not going to prove it, but you can assume that internal node that uh, you come across that, that in order successor, right? that we decided as an internal node is going to be a semi-internal node. Okay, It's not going to be a pure internal node because if it was a pure internal node, its left child would have been the in-order successor. So it will be a semi-internal node with a right subtree. That is the property. Okay, So the in-order successor in this case is not a leaf node, it's a internal node 
and it's more specifically a semi internal node with a right subtree. So what we are going to do is this. If the in order successor is an internal node other than the root, though 31 is not the root of course, right? Then copy its value, which is 31, to the node to be deleted. So 23 is the node to be deleted. So copy the data 31 to 23. So instead of 23, we are going to have 31. Okay, so copy its value to the node to be deleted and link the subtree rooted at the in order successor. So the subtree rooted at the in order successor is this 32 and 33. That's the subtree rooted at this in order successor 31. So link the subtree rooted at the in order successor to be the left subtree of the parent node of the in order successor. So this is the in order successor, its parent node is 31. So link the subtree rooted at the in order successor to be the left subtree of the parent node of the in order successor. So link this 32 and 33 to the parent of 31 which is 34. So link them to be the left subtree of the parent of this in order successor 34. Okay. So that is how you list uh, uh, link the subtree and that's the process. So now this is a binary search tree. Okay. So again let me repeat the process. So when you want to delete an internal node that has uh, which is a pure internal node. So then just do an in order traversal first. When you do an in order traversal and this is a node we want to delete 23 at level 2. It's in order successor is 31. So after 23 you are going to list 31. So that's 31 is called the in order successor. Now this in order successor is not a leaf node. So if it is not a leaf node, the rule is first replace the 23 with the date of the in order successor which is 31 and then link the subtree of this in order successor to be the left subtree of the parent of this in order successor. So for parent of this in order successor is 34, parent of 31 is 34. So link 32 and 33 to be the left subtree of this 34 and that's what we did here. Okay. So um, let us see a few more examples. We want to delete a node 21 at level 1. So here I'm going to just decide which of the three scenarios are suitable and apply the rule. Okay. So so far we looked at the three scenarios and within scenario three the two sub scenarios. So we're done with all the scenarios. So let us now take some test cases and we're going to decide which scenario and rule to apply. So let us say we want to delete the 21 at level 1. So 21 at level 1 means this is the node that we want to delete, not the root node, 20, this node 21. Now this is a semi-internal node, right? So the rule for semi-internal node is what? Replace the node to be deleted with the child node and its subtree if any exists. So this is the node to be deleted, so replace it with its child node and its subtree if anything is there. So 9 is the left child and its subtree is having to 12. So replace this 21 with 9 and its subtree, so 12 is the right child of 9, so just replace 9 and 12 like this, okay, and stop this 21. So this is the case of deleting a semi-internal node. One more example, so let us pick this 21 which is the root node itself that, that we want to delete now. Now this is a pure internal node because it has two child nodes. So the rule is do an in order traversal. So after we do the in order traversal, so in this case it's going to be like what? Start with 12, 21 but don't list it, go all the way to the left, you cannot go anything further. So we'll print 9 followed by 12 followed by 21, followed by 21, then what is the in order successor for 21? You see so far, when you do an in order traversal, you will, you're going to list the nodes in a sorted order. So after 21, what is the next data node to be listed? So let us go through the process. Go to the right subtree, this is the root, you cannot list the root right away, go to its left subtree, 29 is the root, go to the left, 24 is still the root, go to the left, there is nothing to the left. So now we list the root, so 24. So 24 is the in order successor for 21 and you can see it's in a sorted order. 24 is the next day, largest data after 21. So 
so 24 is the in order successor for 21 and what is the nature of this in order successor it is a semi internal node it's not a leaf node it's a semi internal node with a right subtree okay so what we are going to do the rule is replace the data that you want to delete 21 with the data of the in order successor which is 24 so that's what we did here and then uh, put everything in the right in the subtree in the right subtree 25 and 27 to be the left subtree of the parent of this in order successor so parent of this in order successor 24 is 29 so that's 29 so put this 25 and 27 to be the left subtree of this parent of this in order successor 25 and 27 become part of the left subtree of 29 so this is the binary search tree after deleting this root node 21 okay right so with that we finish this module on binary search trees so uh, you can ask me any questions uh, by sending a message if you want i'll give you a couple of minutes for that in the meantime, I'll save this video.